Yo guys, what is going on? Back with my latest video. So this is part two of my Funko Pop haul from San Diego Comic Con. I might have actually a part three because I don't have all the pops in yet. So I'll show you guys those as they come in. But like I said, I just want to show you guys what I got from San Diego Comic Con. This is part two of it. I do have another Freddy Fun Days pop box to open as well. Um, so let's get right into that. Here we go. Alright guys, so before we get into this video, please smash that like button down below. Let me know you guys are enjoying these videos. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button down there as well so you're updated in my most recent content. So like I said, just want to show you guys what I've gotten from fun, uh, San Diego Comic Con. Um, this one is actually not a San Diego Comic Con pop, but I did order from Box Lunch when I got the uh, Dragon Ball Z one. Because um, I did have, I think, hot, not hot cash, but Box Lunch money. And that is the Kool-Aid Man. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yeah! So this one was a must have for me. I don't know why it took so long to get this. I'm glad it didn't sell out or anything. Um, this was a common ad icon, but the Kool-Aid Man is one of the most recognizable um, advertisement icons of all time. You know, you got the signature catchphrase of oh yeah back there. So yeah, this Kool-Aid Man was a must have for me. I'm glad to add that one to the collection and uh, to get him for pretty much free. I think it was like two bucks or something like that. So I think he's on sale and I had the hot or the box lunch money so it was no brainer for me. There is the out of box looks at Kool-Aid Man. Got a little ice up there. Ice, water and red are the ingredients for Kool-Aid and sugar. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Kool-Aid Man was a must have for me. Glad to add that one to the collection. And uh, definitely another ad icon um, that I'm glad to have. So, up next, these were the two pops that actually made my list as well for my top 10 Funko Pops of San Diego Comic Con. Check that video out if you've not already. Um, but these were Sigmund and H&R Puff and stuff. Dope pops, man. This is from the world of Sid and uh, Marty Croft. Like I said, these were shows from the 70s, late 70s. Um, yeah, I just watched them as a kid my parents made me watch these weird shows <laughs> but they were really cool i mean uh sigmund uh they did a really good job with this as well as h&r puff and stuff it's a really colorful pop it really stands out in your collection i know a lot of people weren't really feeling these because they don't really resonate with it, it doesn't mean much to them um you know funko pops all come down to um you know what's nostalgic for you what you're into at the time and uh, not a lot of people were really feeling these too, but um, that was makes it easier for me to get. There's the back of the boxes for both. That's what they look like on the TV show. There's Sigmund right there. There's one tooth and uh, H&R Puff and stuff back there. So definitely translated well to Pops. Glad to add this to the collection. Um, these were a Funko Shop exclusive. Uh, I don't know if these are still available or not. Like I said in the last video, a lot of these pops did not sell out. Um, for whatever reason, this year at San Diego Comic Con, there weren't many pops that people were feeling. The bundle sat for forever. Um, the pops I thought were going to be out there for a long time weren't. As far as I know, the only pops that sold out um, initially, at least, were the two-pack um, Simpsons and also the uh, Batman from Funko Shop with the San Diego Comic Con bag. But he also was available from through that bundle for at least a day or two. Um, so, like I said, nothing really sold out, um, but made it easier for me. So there you go. This is the last pop I want to show you guys. Or no, it's not the last pop. But this is another pop. Uh, this is another ad icon. This is the Toucan mascot for Comic-Con, uh, for the 50th San Diego Comic-Con this year, I believe. Really cool. Um, like I said before, I, in my uh, top 10 video, I know who he is just because I've seen Comic-Con's website, but I've never been to San Diego Comic-Con. Um, I am going to New York Comic Con, so if you guys are going to that, uh, let me know. Definitely be interested in uh, meeting up with some of you guys. Um, I will be there on the Saturday, October 5th. Um, and I do want to make it out to San Diego Comic Con at some point as well. But drop down in the comments, guys, if you're going to be there. Definitely would uh, like meeting up with you guys. Uh, but there's the Toucan mascot, another ad icon. I'm going to be honest, if it wasn't an ad icon, I probably wouldn't grab it. Cause he doesn't really stand out too much but he's pretty cool and uh it's an ad i kind of add to the collection so that is the other pop i want to show and this is the last one actually is the two-pack black cauldron 
uh, Taron, and Horn King. So I went and watched this movie again. It's not very good. <laughs> but Horn King is dope. He's a good Disney villain. Um, but the rest of the movie is kind of sucked. <laughs> but Black Cauldron, um, that's probably why it didn't sell out. A lot of people weren't feeling the movie when it came out. Um, people don't really remember this movie, so the pops didn't sell out as well. This was an Amazon exclusive. You know, if, I wish it was just the Horn King um, and not a two-pack with Taron. But it's dope nonetheless because it's a Disney movie um, from the 80s and definitely one to add to collection. This may be one that goes up later on. I know a lot of two-packs do, um, but this one, the Horn King, is the prize in that box right there. So there you go. It's a close-up view and uh, glad to add this to collection. So that is part two of what I got uh, from the shared exclusives. Like I said, it's gonna be a part three because for whatever reason, they're not all coming in at one time. Even from the retailers, they're not coming in at the same time. So when I come in, I'll show you guys some more. I do have some other things I wanna show you guys as well. And I'm hearing this mystery box is coming soon. So I might have to buy some of those and show you guys what I get. So with <clears throat> that in mind, I also do have Another fun days box. So that's somewhat of like a mystery box. So let's see how we do with that. The last pulls weren't too bad. I did get the one pop I was looking to add. Um, there was one I didn't like at all and the one that was kind of, you know, so-so. So hopefully this time, at least there's new, no duplicates and maybe we can get um, either like the Surfer Batman or Chucky or Toxic Rick. So let's see how we do. As long as we don't get any more of the Tiki's, I'm pretty happy. Here's the first pop. So there is the Toxic Rick from Rick and Morty, Freddy right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, I do like Rick and Morty. I don't think I've ever seen the episode with actually, that they have Toxic Rick, um, but I am familiar with them. This is a glow in the dark pop. Pretty cool. This one is limited to 3,000 pieces. So that's pretty cool to get one that has a, which is such a small run like that. Um, yeah, this one's cool. Like I said, I like the Freddies that they make. Um, from other cartoon characters they have licenses for. So there you go, the Toxic Rick, uh, Freddy Funko right there from Comic-Con. So hopefully they have some more Freddies and no more Tiki's. They're three per box, they were 50 bucks, so you can't really go too wrong with these. Okay, so here is the other pop I was looking to add. This is the Chucky um, from Child's Play 2, Freddy Funko. Really dope looking one. This one you can definitely tell that who it is. Um, it's no denying that's Chucky with holding that knife in his hand. I think I heard some rumors that there's some blood splatter ones. I don't know if that means like it's a chase or what. But this one's limited to the 5,000 so it's not one of the more rare ones. I have seen a lot of people with this. Um, but still cool nonetheless that have a Chucky Freddy Funko. Definitely one to add to the collection. Really happy to have this one. So there you go. And last but not least, hopefully this is that Surfer Batman. I think that was the most expensive one. Um, but let's see. So, feeling the box, this is another Tiki, because I think they have the raised letters on that. Yup. <laughs> so, this is Dino um, from Spastic Plastic Fun Days. It's another translucent blue Tiki Man with a cigar in his mouth. Uh, yeah, you know, you can't complain, you know, the two pops are already are really cool. Um, these Tiki men, uh, you know, whatever. If anyone's interested, let me know. I'd be happy to trade. Um, I do have a lot of Funko Pops I'm looking to add to my collection. Probably put a list on, like, Instagram or something, the things I'm looking to trade for. Uh, but this one's limited to 6,000 pieces. This is Dino. He's a cool-looking pop. You know, the thing with Spastic Classic for me is I just don't know the characters. Like, you know... You don't grow up with them, you don't know anything about them because they're not on like TV or anything. You don't, you know, have any feelings toward this character. So, you know, they're kind of whatever. They look cool, but, nah, <laughs> I'd rather have something else. There you go, it's Dino. Um, all in all, I'm really happy because I got two Freddy Funkos I was looking for. Um, the only one I didn't get was the, the out of the two boxes, which is the, uh, what's it called, the Batman Surfer, which is cool. You know, I'm not too upset about them. I kind of only wanted that one because it's a more expensive one. Um, but the two uh, ones right here actually to me look better. So happy with my pulls from the Freddy Fun Days, uh, the Freaky Tiki Fun Days, what they call them, Pops. Please drop down in the comment section below what you guys thought was the best of all the Pops I pulled in this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe to my videos. Thank you so much for your support, guys. Till next time, I'll see you later.